So I've just headed back south after our little excursion. Uh, back to the southern area of the swamp. This is below the PVE border. To show you guys something, um, I'm sure most people already know about this, but a, a kind of decent little spot if you're in the mood for uh, some decent armor, a couple of potions, uh, and a pretty useful item. Go back that way. That's where the spawn is. And if you follow the road and just kind of stick, whenever the road splits, you stick to the right path. You'll come across this little area here. Rocks that go across the water. You can see there's some kind of structure over there. That is the Alchemist Shack. Uh, and it's actually a decent little spot to uh, gear up on your way north. Very, very easy to beat. Now, I'm still geared up from the last dungeon, so I'm probably not going to get really anything useful out of here, but there's a couple of uh, common chests and whatnot. Just there. I believe there's one here. Yeah. Like that. But if you go downstairs... find a very easy dungeon down here known as the herbalist shack um, so my current route has actually been to come here and do this real quick and then uh, grab potions in one of the towns on the way to the webs to the uh, sunken mire and then do that so as you can see there grown small Mushrooms here, if you step on them. Now I'm normal size again. But if I step on it, it shrinks me. It's actually really cool how they did this. Um, but now that I'm small, I can fit through this here. Dungeon is very short, very easy. Now if I head back up, I see, see I can't get past this wall, I just jump on this mushroom. Now I can. Got some kind of pit here. Go down here. You can see another area. I can't fit through these lines. If I shrink myself, and the room got a lot darker, but if I shrink myself, I can. Person in here. Giving me a torch. It lets me burn this. Oh, no, not that. What am I talking about? It lets me burn these. So now, I head back over here and grow myself again. I can head over here. Yeah, he's in there, he's real tiny in here and I could actually push this over. And that gives me a platform to get across the pit. And then you're on to the boss. Uh, the boss, if you're not prepared, can be a little hard. He just does a lot of damage. Uh, a lot of poison damage and whatnot, but I should be overly geared for this, so. Come down, yep, and then he spawns and he poisons you is what he does. Oh, there's another zombie down here as well. Now I have iron, but you can kill him with a stone sword, I've done it before. Um, he just kind of chases you around and spits poison at you. Once he's dead though, we get the fungus covered key. Take it over here and drop it on this. And that's it. That's the entirety of the dungeon. Now one item you do get. Click on it, right? Is this. Um, I've actually... One thing I recommend. As you can see, it gives you speed 2 and jump boost 1 for 20 seconds. Um, I actually recommend if you take a route where you go here and then go to 
the sunken mire from here that you actually uh, use that for the first room's parkour. So you see, there's some decent stuff in here. For, for me personally, nothing I could really use. But considering how far south it is, you can you can go here, and then you could go right into the. You can go right north of here to the underground swamp uh, there. And some of the towns down there have some really good gear. It, it's kind of crazy how fast you can get up to like full iron in like less than 10 minutes, which is kind of insane. Um, but very far south and a very good spot for, for just a quick gear up, decent gear up before you head and try and take on something a little more difficult. Just went down the coast towards Grimdale and Pravis to see if there was anybody interested in this web shop, but unfortunately nobody was nearby. While we're here. Now this one, I have not done. I'm assuming you get in this building somewhere. I've actually not attempted this one yet. This is another one of the tier one starter dungeons that you can find near the coast. There's several of them. As far as I know, there's three. There's the Alchemist Shack, this one, and there's one other which I plan on doing in future. Like traps to me. Where you can't, I'm not entirely sure what happens when you step on these, but you shouldn't, that's all I know. Right. Come down here, and it's a little parkour area. Now, you can't touch this sand because it is very hot. Go that way either. So, I'm going to parkour across the sand. It's not too difficult. Oh. Those are some of the new zombie types you can find in the desert. And they give you hunger when they hit you. So that's unfortunate. Anyway. Now we're in this room. It looks to be some kind of like circuitry. So what we gotta do is we gotta push these. Leave the green wire. That's like a conduit. And help this signal move across. I'm terrible at pushing this thing. As you can see there, the signal extends, but then it dies once it gets there. So we need to extend it further. Almost had it. Get it. There we go. That opens that up. That gives us a third one. So now, three, we can do the yellow wire instead. Now that should fire through. Now we have a shovel. What's up here? Snowball. A little weird that that's here in a hot desert temple. But I believe this can be used on these dirt piles. Ah. A little extra chest down there you can grab if you want. Now where do I go? Ah, probably this way. See there's more 
hot sand parkour. We're just gonna make our way across. Make our way up here. And I guess we're going back across. Alright. And that is it. So again, loot here is all right. This is just north of Pravis. So if you're down that way and you're making your way north, this is not a bad stop to take considering how quickly I took a little more time with it trying to show it, show around the actual dungeon itself. But you can get this done very, very quickly if you go in already knowing what you're doing and you get this. Volcanic Wedge. Lodge into the ground to stun nearby zombies for 10 seconds. I imagine this could be really good for certain dungeons. Perhaps in wave rooms that could come in handy. And we just go ahead and exit out. ground make our way back up to the surface here and that's it we're back to the surface so those are two of the uh, more basic starter dungeons you could find like I said there's one other but I plan on doing that for a separate video because that one uh, actually is almost a hybrid of two dungeons in one and it's going to take a little more time to actually do. So I don't plan on doing that quite yet, but uh, that should be coming very soon in the future. Well, I've got my two new little one-use tools. Let's see if I can try and find someone on the coast that wants them. I still haven't gotten rid of my web shot, so I guess we'll see. <laughs>